live coverage of Expo North as it happens. This is Expo North Live. Studio mixer, audio engineer, record producer, multi-instrumentalist. Is there anything our next guest can't do? Oh, and he's also executive director of the Music Producers Guild too. Welcome to Andrew Hunt. Andrew, can you first of all tell us what it is that the Music Producers Guild does? Yeah, it's a community for all working producers, engineers, mix engineers, mastering engineers, anybody working in that professional community can join the Music Producers Guild. It's open to everybody. There's three levels. We have a basic membership which is open to everybody and then the higher tier is for the working professional. But we, we lobby government, we look after the needs of producers and engineers, we try and champion the, what the roles of producers, engineers, mix engineers, mastering engineers and the differences between them. We try and champion those. We have an awards every year, award ceremony where we celebrate the work of the background. An room. award ceremony. Yeah. How long do you have to recover from that? Depends. <laughs> <laughs> we're, talking, we're talking days, aren't I we? Don't want to say that. <laughs> but I mean, it is a serious thing. I mean, you know, the music industry has changed so much That's in true. recent years, and you must be very fo much focused on, on, on trying to look after your members' interests in these changes. Yeah, well, revenue streams are different now. There aren't so many large labels. A lot of work comes from independents, I find, these days. So, really, we're finding that there's a need for an organisation where you can all come together and share your ideas. And we can always re respond to people's needs much faster when we're in a room where people talk and kind of everyone shares a common problem. We can step in to try and resolve that problem. And, and uh, yeah. Now, the Guild's been very supportive of Expo North. Um, yeah, here you are at Expo North, North Live. Really? What is it that brings you back? Well, we'd like to try and get more of, sort of MPG members and stimulate the, the, the producer engineer community in Scotland. The MPG is a UK-based organisation mm -hmm. um, and we, we go to all over the UK and we try and stimulate the communities in that area to set up their own social events and technical events. Because we find that by people actually coming together, that, that's when you can get things done. That's when you, you, we, we work on our own quite a lot of the time. So bringing people together is its not the only reason the MPG exists, but it's there. So many people will go to our event and leave and kind of go, God, it's brilliant. You know, beforehand they might not have realised that, but when they leave, they're kind of, yeah, that was excellent. So we're in Scotland supporting the Expo, which is great. Trying to bring a bit of awareness of the MPG and the fact that it is a, a whole of the UK organisation and also trying to stimulate a bit of activity amongst the Scottish producers and engineers. We've got a social on in Glasgow on Friday night um, at CAA, which will be quite good, so open to all the industry as well. Can you tell us how you got your own start in the industry? Yeah. Um, it was always my hobby. Music, I started playing music when I was about eight, and it was always my hobby. And uh, I kind of, I went off and did art and design courses, and then got, was a maths teacher, I got, did a maths degree, and it was always my hobby, stayed as my hobby. And then a few years ago, I started making records. I kind of, I was asked to be a session guitarist on a job, and through that process, they asked me to produce it, and I kind of went, I'm not doing that. And then everyone just went, you idiot, how often do you get asked to produce an album? So I kind of, I rang them up and went, oh yeah, I've got to move things around, most of the reschedule, and I'm not going to produce it. Uh, and loved it. And then uh, got busier and busier doing it, and got a bit obsessed by it, and, and experimented a lot with equipment, and kind of got more into engineering, very excited about engineering, and just, got busier and busier, where I got to the point where I kind of thought, well, you know what, I might as well make my job. I mean, you do wear a lot of hats, as we were saying in the introduction. What one's the most fun for you? All of it. It's all music, isn't it? So, yeah. I think that, that, that if you're not passionate about what you're doing, that was one of the reasons why I stopped being a math teacher and went to what was my hobby, because of the passion. Yeah. And I'm passionate about every element of it, so it's kind of, although I do wear a lot of hats, they're not... Uh, some of it is by necessity these days because the budgets have changed and particularly where I am in the industry and the level I'm at I find I work with, uh, a lot with solo artists or bands that need extra support so then because I grew up playing instruments I might step in and play instruments for them to, to, to help you know if they need a horn section I'll kind of step in and play trumpet and trombone or bass players sometimes I don't know why quite a lot of bands I've worked with it's, so there's bass players issues <laughs> and I've stepped on that or they're a solo artist and I really am playing all the instruments for them 
And again, although I love to work with engineers when, when the opportunity arises, if I love engineering myself, so if the budget isn't there, and that's usually the reason why I don't hire an extra engineer, then I'll engineer it myself. So yeah, and mixing, I love mixing for other people. I also love mixing my own projects because everyone works in different ways, but when I kind of start working with a band, I go through a long process of, of finding what they like, what they dislike, talking about the type of record we're going to make and working hard with them on that. And then I kind of ponder a lot and walk a lot. And I kind of, the, the record develops in my head and I can hear it really clearly in my head. And then I kind of, I know what record we're making. A bit like a, a designer might make a mood board. I kind of do that with all their references and then I, I form quite a clear picture of the record I want to make. So, <coughs> excuse me, when I come to mix it, which is really, for me, that there's a, a lot of art in mixing and, and really creating the record. I find it uh, I, I kind of need to because I, I've already got the vision in my head. So yeah, I kind of tend to mix myself. I mean, finally and briefly, but I suppose crucially, because here we are at Expo North Live, uh, a place for emerging musical talent. A lot of these people uh, may think, I can't afford a big recording studio, audio engineers. Are they right? Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you can't work with producers and engineers anyway. There's all, generally, you know, a producer will always help you handle the budget and help you realise whatever record or project you're going to make. It's not just about the sound. So if you start, and they are in people, so if you, and they all want work. <laughs> so start talking to them and you'll develop a dialogue. And if you kind of go, this really is our only budget, then that producer can probably help use that budget much better. They, they can help, working with an engineer or producer, can you, they should be able to get to help you realize your dreams much faster than you can do on your own. So in some ways it's more cost effective. But always talk to them, always contact people, always talk to them, try and develop a dialogue and speak to them about the budget at hand and they'll try and find a way. And because a lot of it can be done remotely these days, if the budget it really is so small, you can do a lot remotely and, and advising and all of those sort of things to save you money in the long run. So it's always worth talking to them because they're experienced, it's their job. Andrew, it's great to have you up here. Nice. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you.